new studio. So it's been a few weeks since I last posted and in that time I finished college. So yay, so exciting. Um, now I have run away to the forest in Minnesota and I'm here for a few months and I'm going to show you my new studio. There's some products I'm working on. We'll go through that. I have some new products I want to start and then I want to talk about everything that's going on with my Etsy shop since that has kind of thrown me for a loop. Nothing crazy. It's just I think the ebb and flow of you know selling as an independent artist. Um, I, I'll, let me show you. I've got my little dog Finn with me. I'll show you him. He's right here. Let me go grab him. Say hi Finn. You sleepy boy. It's also pretty dark in here right now. I'll change the lighting. Um, actually I can show you what that looks like. I have kind of cozy mode and I have working mode. Just wanted to show you how beautiful it is this morning. I'm in the basement right now hence all these little poles. There's Finny. Say hi Finn. He can't. But yeah. But 7.30, I think, right now. Got up pretty early since the sunrise is so early. But just look how pretty that is. We actually have a couple bears here. So we have one who's a boy, and I've named him Clementine. And then we have one who is a mom of two. And I haven't named them yet. So if you have any names, let me know. Because I just can't think of what their perfect names would be. I love naming all the animals. Oh, I named one recently. Oh, there's a bunch of tiny horses here. Like, people have lots of farms. And I have one horse that I've named Chippy. I mean, they're obviously not mine. But I have one horse I've named Chippy. And the other one I named Gemma. Maybe I'll show you them in the future. Alright, this dog won't come in now. Look at him. He's free. He's an animal. <laughs> this is what the shop looks like when I have it in cozy mode. And this is bright mode. I obviously prefer cozy mode, but I need to turn on bright mode for when I'm doing all my painting. Oh, I should show you. I'm not sure if you can see me, but if you can, here is the sculpting section, and here is the painting section. This used to be my dad's little workshop for his tinkering around, um, but now I have it. One more thing before I hop into it before I forget because I know I've been taking so long to get to the painting but I have one subscriber so if it, you're watching my one subscriber thank you leave a comment below I want to say hi um, yeah that's all I want to say before I forget so I'll show you what I need to work on right now this morning I have only a couple orders so I have these um, butterfly bear earrings that all need to be painted it's got little butterfly wings and it's a little bear Obviously, I have two of them since they're earrings. I have a mushroom pin that needs to be painted. I have two little peanut butter and jellies for little best friend pins. And this star pin that I'm going to paint. I've actually never sold this one before and I've had it for like a year. Um, I need to like update some of them quite frankly. But yeah, if you want to see what they look like when they're all painted, you can hop over to my shop at Zoe Luna Artwork on Etsy and kind of see what these little guys are going to turn into. So yeah, let's just get into painting again. haven't found the best way to show you what I'm painting um like like the process I just can't figure out how to like get the tripod right um so I just figured I'd kind of talk to you while I work on my painting and I'll give you little updates I'm working on the bears first and then I use this color to do the crust for the PB and J's so one thing I wanted to talk about was my Etsy shop I, like I say, I'm a pretty small shop, and I started it in September of 2020, and it started to really grow in, like, September of 2021, just that I was, like, consistently getting sales every week, um, had, to, you know, made a few hundred dollars a month, and then, like, 
come, I'd say mid-April, it really started to slow down a lot. Um, and so, sorry, I get paranoid. Um, and so, I was, you know, I like, of course it scares me. And so I'm trying to like, try new things. I'm like mumbling this whole time. Um, anyhow, I'm trying to like, jump into art prints and cards and more paper products and try to expand there because most of my shop is clay and you know, like little figurines and jewelry made out of clay. And so I'm not exactly sure why it slowed down. Granted, I think part of it was because I had to kind of extend my processing time a lot due to like all the stuff going on with finishing up college and moving out of an apartment and coming up here and then we had to like a little vacation in between there to Hocking Hills, Ohio, which if you've never been there, it was way better than I thought it would be. But anyhow, the National Park State Park, one of them. Anyhow, so I'm trying to like not stress about it because like I feel like I have what I want right now in terms of my shop, like where it's going. Of course, I'd love to be able to have like a solid living income off of it, but I don't want to see it die now before it really takes off. And so that's one thing I'm really trying to do this summer, especially now that I'm done with college. Like I'm trying to make this a full-time job. And so I need to figure out how to do that. And so then I keep kind of thinking to myself, am I just gonna be another like failed business? But on the bright side, I was talking about this last night at dinner. I don't have rent to pay for a studio space. I don't have employees to pay. I, my materials, I've got most of them and they're not that, you know, expensive or like, I don't have that many materials that I have to use. So I think that it can't fail because no one can shut me down. The only way it would fail is if I stopped trying. So I think that's what I gotta keep telling myself. I think this is normal, you know, like summer, I think it makes sense that it'd be slower because there's less of those gift buying holidays and people go outside and the weather gets nice and just that kind of whole thing. So I'm trying to just accept the ups and flows and kind of ride them out. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me a little nervous, but I just got to keep trying and because the only way I'll fail is if I give up. So I keep telling myself. Also, I got one of the bears painted. Oh, it looks. That's not a really good way of showing off my products. Also, to continue rambling, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. I'm getting it all sorted out. I want to do it with another creator. Because um, I'm trying to also like work on my social media marketing. Because I'm not really good at that. If you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, it's just so we learn the artwork on either of those. And let them know. Or let them know. Let me know. They came from here. So, yeah. I know. Oh, shoot. I just dropped it face down. But it's okay. But, yeah. I'm just trying to... Ride the waves. So, it's the next day. It's Monday morning, and lucky for me, I have nowhere to go today. So, I just finished my workout, and I'm about to have my coffee. Oh, it's windy. But I wanted to show you something that I saw yesterday. So, last summer, I, like, made this whole fairy garden. I made a whole door, all these, like, little figurines and mushrooms. And I visited it yesterday, and... There's just a mystery with it. I'll show you. Just gotta get over to the street here. By the way, it's another beautiful day. I think it's gonna be have like 62, which I think is perfect. Okay, so we're at the tree. Let me just turn you around here. So this is what is left at my little fairy garden. I just have it on this tree here. There's the door and one mushroom. Oh wait, look. Look, there's the stem of the other one. So, a mushroom cap went somewhere. I had a rabbit statue. And then, I had like these little rocks I painted. Maybe I should look around and see if I can, 
them. And I'll let you know if I do. If not, I'll probably not tell you anything. All right, I'm gonna look around. Okay, an update. I did find something so far. I found the cap to the mushroom. It's like, I don't know, four or five feet away from the tree, so I guess the snow maybe did it? I don't know. I don't even know if this is interesting. Okay, I still haven't found anything new, but I was, look at him. There he is, and then Ron, Roger. He wasn't there yesterday morning. He was asleep still. Say hi, Roger. Hi. Yeah. They're just out here with Final them. update, I couldn't find anything else. So just the broken mushroom cap. I really wish I could find my little um, rabbit girl. I got her from a thrift store just in town. I really like her. Maybe I brought her inside. I don't really know. I'll figure it out. But now, I think I'm going to go inside. Have some coffee. As per usual. And maybe work on some illustration stuff. I don't know. I'll show you what I do. So I'm inside right now. And I wanted to show you something I did yesterday. I have to be quiet because people are sleeping. But I want to show you how to clean your brushes for acrylic paint. So mine always get really splayed out. And like this one's kind of like this. And that looks like this. So I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to get them all cleaned up. Also, before I pause it, what you're going to need is like a heat proof container and just a kettle of hot water or boiling water. So I'm just getting this boiling, and then when it does, I'll pour it in the cup, and we'll pick up from there. This is a super easy little thing. Okay, so I've got about two or three inches of hot water in this cup. My brush is here. What I'm gonna do is take it, swirl it around a little, and then kind of sit for a second, not too long. And these are all synthetic brushes, by the way. And I use my fingers to just kind of shape it to what it used to be. This one used to be like a pointed brush. And you let it dry. And they hold their shape. So, this is from back in the studio, down in the basement. And I thought I would show you where I got to yesterday on my orders. I want to talk about another thing, like another illustration I did. And also talk about what the agenda is for today. So, let's get into that. Right, so I can't touch them right now because they're wet. But I got my little pens all getting glazed. I wish I could show you better. Maybe I'll do an update later. But I got them all painted. I gotta clean this off. Um, and so yeah, tomorrow I'll be able to send this off, which will be really good. They're just getting glazed. Actually, these ones aren't glazed yet because I just painted the faces on. Also, I'm sure you can tell that I have the lights off in here, which doesn't make the lighting the best. If I turn this way, it's better. Um, but I just can't stand to have the lights on. I'd rather it be cozy than be able to see. So another thing that I did yesterday was I made some stationary templates that can be customized. <clears throat> Try and throw up a picture like, here or something. It's of a sunflower fairy. I've just been kind of doing these doodles lately. Um, and I really like the way they turn out. They're just kind of like something I can get into. I don't have to think too much about, but it also like gets my creative energy out. I was doing them on vacation when I only had like my iPad to make stuff. Um, but yeah, so I have those on my Etsy shop now. They are for like, like, you can put a quote on them or your initials. So I'm trying out that. I've never done that before. So I'm kind of seeing how that goes. I just get my stuff printed through Canva. I find that the quality is actually really good. I feel like, you know, get the highest quality selection. That's what I do. Um, because I, I don't have a printer and I can't really, like, well, I don't, I, I probably could afford it, but I don't feel comfortable buying it right now. So, also what I was going to do for the rest of the day, not the rest, I have more to do than this, but art-wise, um, I'm looking at my list right there. I have, oh yeah, so I'm trying to get into a farmer's market at least a couple days because they allow artists and it's just about 15 minutes from where I live right now and it's like the first one, so I'm hoping to get like stuff made. Um, I, because I can like sell my prints and some of my clay items. So I have a kind of like local themed illustration I'm planning on doing today. And then I would also love to do some painting. I don't do a lot of painting anymore, but I have this big easel like right here. Yeah, we got it for free actually. So I really want to paint since I have that here, but also one thing I've been doing is I have these journals that are just like craft paper, but they're really hard. They've got different papers on the inside. 
personally how I painted one of these for my cousin. I think I showed you that in a video. And I really love doing that. And so I want to paint some more. And maybe even like list them on my shop or bring them to the farmer's market if I can get into that. So paint either one of those. I'm not sure yet. Let's see, looking at my other list, it's, it's, just, it's just chaotic, alright? This is how it is. It's just a little chaotic sometimes, but I think, you know, it all gets done, alright? So, I'll update you when things actually start getting done. So, I got my things all glazed. I'll show them to you right now. I think the lighting should be good enough. So, we have this little mushroom. It's a pin and it's got a a sparkly little cap on it. Thank you. I've got the two jelly and or peanut butter and jelly pins all made. This little star pin. This is one I've never actually sold before. It's kind of random. It's so cute. You can see if it'll focus. You get the gist. And oh, I still haven't glazed these. I need to do that right now little butterflies. So these will be earrings and they just come down like here. I love these. Actually, these look kind of well. I, they were such a random thing that I made and they actually turned out well. Oh, and I got an order today. Hold on. Um, okay. I sold one of these. It's a little baby. This is Bear Baby. I've got like six of them, I think, in my shop right now. There's Pear Baby, Bear Baby, Eggplant Baby, Butterfly Baby. Um, Silly Baby and Ladybug Baby. So I sold Bear Baby. So that's one thing I'm going to get to today. I was going to do some painting. Like I said earlier, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if I'm just like tired after lunch. But I like don't know what to paint anymore. And I think it's just going to be a chill day. I also think this video is getting a little long. So I'll probably sign it off around here. But I wanted to show you the update on my pins. And I'll show you all the things I sculpt and paint in the next one. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.